In the next video, I'll be thanking one of my channel subscribers in a special way. Hey, what's up, coin fam? Welcome back to the channel where we uncover hidden treasures that could be in your pocket. Wouldn't it be incredible to find one of the pennies that I'm about to talk about in this video and change your financial situation? Let's be realistic, though. Odds are against it. But one of the coins in this video put $3,000 in the pocket of another channel subscriber just a few years back. Let's get right into it. Here's a 1999 Philadelphia minted Lincoln cent. This penny is a well-known and valuable variety similar to the 1992 close AM penny, but this is the wide AM variety. The intended die for the 1999 Lincoln cent is the close AM, but the San Francisco mint was minting some no mint mark pennies to help out the Philadelphia mint. The reverse of the San Francisco minted proof pennies is the wide AM. Have you figured out what happened yet? San Francisco minted a small amount of the no mint mark pennies with the wrong reverse die. This 1999 wide AM Philadelphia minted penny graded mint state 68 red. It was confirmed to be the wide AM variety and it sold at auction for almost $4,000. I did a video on this penny not too long ago and there's a cool YouTube story that goes along with it. This is a 1988 Philadelphia minted Lincoln cent, and it's a doubled die. This isn't the typical, oh, the numbers and the letters are doubled. The doubling on this coin is on Lincoln's earlobe. Here's what it looks like compared to a 1988 penny with no doubling. This very penny was actually found by a subscriber of the Coin Help You channel on YouTube. Stop by Daniel's channel to say hi and tell him Mint Miser sent you. This penny was graded Mint State 66 red, and it sold at auction a few years back for over $3,000. I don't think I've ever done a video about this error before, so it's long overdue. This penny is made of steel with a coating of zinc. That's not the error, though. In 1943, the Mint intentionally made these coins with steel to preserve copper for the war. This penny is on my list because it's a double die. You can see the doubling of the date and lettering on the obverse side that the collectors go crazy for. If you come across a 1943 penny with letters and numbers that seem to have a shadow, you might have struck gold, or in this case, steel. The doubling isn't as obvious as most of the doubled coins I talk about. You won't see clear separation between the letters and numbers. You're looking for more subtle signs of doubling. If you look closely, you should see that some of the letters and numbers are a little thicker than what they should be. The best way to figure this out is to compare the potentially doubled coin with another one that isn't doubled. You can also take a look at the DoubledDie.com website and look for the die markers to confirm that you have the doubled die variety. This one graded Mint State 66 and sold at auction for almost $2,000. Moving on to a real gem. Take a look at this 1970 San Francisco minted double die obverse. The doubling on this penny is seen most prominently in the words liberty and in God we trust, as you can see here. It's not as prominent on the date. If you see a noticeable duplication of letters and numbers, you might have one of these rare varieties. This doubling makes the penny extremely rare and sought after by collectors. How much can it fetch? Hold on to your seats because this 1970S Lincoln cent graded Mint State 64 red and sold at auction for over $10,000. Next up on our treasure list is this 1992 Close AM Penny. Now what makes this penny a jackpot? It's all in the AM of America on the reverse side of the coin. Most 1992 pennies have the A and the M slightly apart. That's the wide AM but a few rare ones have the A and the M almost touching, and those are the close AM pennies, also known as cams. This tiny detail turns an ordinary penny into a collector's dream. How do you spot it? Grab a magnifying glass and look closely at the A and M in America on the back. If the A and M are closer than you'd expect, you might just have a fortune in your hands. The difference between the two varieties is negligible, but if you look at these enough, you'll be a pro in no time. 
This variety exists because the reverse design changed slightly during the 1992 mintage. The Philadelphia version of this variety is the most rare. There are only about 20 of these known to exist. This 1992 Philadelphia minted penny is the close AM variety. It was graded by PCGS and came in at a mint state 67 on a scale from 1 to 70. This close AM penny sold at auction for over $25,000. I made a detailed video about whams and cams. I'll give you a link to it at the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed the video today and learned something. Don't forget to tell your spouse or significant other how much they mean to you today. And share the love with me by sharing this video. Thanks for watching.